Smile and learn. Hey, friends. Today we are going to learn about long division. But this time the divisor will have two digits. Remember to learn how to divide by two digits, we must first know how to divide by one digit. Do you remember the parts that make up division? When we divide a quantity, that number is called the dividend, while the number that we divide it by is called the divisor. That is, in division, we divide the dividend by the divisor. 3,225 divided by 25. That means 3,225 is the dividend, 25 is the divisor. When dividing, we need to know the multiplication tables very well, as they are essential for doing division. Imagine we want to distribute 3,225 spaceships equally on 25 planets. How will we know how many spaceships will go on each planet? Let's solve the problem. First, we must look at the numbers of the dividend. If the first number of the dividend is smaller than the divisor, we will have to choose the next number of the dividend. In this case, the divisor has two digits, so we will have to select the first two digits of the dividend. Let's start! First, we have to see how many digits of the dividend we have to use. As I told you before, the number of the dividend we are going to divide has to be equal to or greater than the number of the divisor. In this case, 32, the first two digits in 3,225, is greater than 25. So we don't need to choose the next number of the dividend. Now we have to mentally calculate which number multiplied by the divisor is closest to the dividend. Which number multiplied by 25 gives us 32 or less? 1. Correct. 1 multiplied by 25 equals 25. We can't use 2, because if we multiply it by 25, we get 50, which is greater than 32. So, write down 1 above the line on top of the 2, and put the multiplication below the dividend, in our case 25 under 32, and subtract. So 32 minus 25 equals 7. And we write the result below. Now since 7 is less than 25, we have to bring the next number down from the dividend and we get our next number, 72. Exactly. Which number multiplied by 25 gives us 72 or is close to it? Two, you're on fire. If we multiply by three and we go over, and if we multiply by one, it's too small. We will write two next to one above the line. So 25 times two is 50. We will write 50 under 72 and subtract. What's the result? 22, that's right. 22 is less than 25, so what do we do? When the number is smaller than the divisor, we have to bring the next number down here from the dividend. Very good. Now we have to divide a big number. Which number multiplied by 25 gives us 225 or something close? Oh, it isn't easy. Put on your thinking caps. 9. Excellent! If we multiply by 10, it's too big. And if we multiply by 8, it's too small. Since 25 times 9 is 225, we write this number below and then subtract. We will write 9 next to 1 and 2. The result of 225 minus 225 is... 0! Of course! That means the remainder of this division is zero. This means that 3,225 divided by 25 equals 129. We know this because we have no more numbers left to bring down from the dividend. So we're done! This result is also called the quotient of the division. That is the number of spaceships each planet gets. 
In this case, we will put 129 spaceships on each planet. If we don't have any more numbers left to divide, we arrive at the remainder. If the remainder of the division is equal to zero, it is said to be an exact division. When the remainder is not zero, then we have leftover numbers after dividing the dividend by the divisor. This is called inexact division. Did you know that there's a way to check if we have done division correctly? There is one rule that applies to all divisions. The rule is that the dividend of a division is equal to the divisor multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder. In this division, it would be 3,225 is equal to 25 multiplied by 129 plus zero. If we do the multiplication, we can see that 25 multiplied by 129 equals 3,225. And that's it! We know that we have followed all the steps correctly because we've checked our division. You're amazing! That's all for today! You've been super attentive. Let's see how easy it is for you to divide from now on. See you in the next class! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.